All right, guys, today is uh, Tuesday, July 16th, and uh, we're leaving uh, Salt Lake City. It was fun visiting with my brother. Uh, we went um, downhill mountain biking. I looked over the footage of that. I guess the uh, chest mount that I was wearing, because I was leaning over the handlebar so bad, the footage kind of turned out crappy. I may still include some of it in here just because I had so much fun. But, uh... Oh, I missed it. You got to do it again. Dude, these rocks are vicious. Step right there, Nate. Let them know that we got a rider down. You all right? Yeah. These rocks are no joke. I think, I think your back tire rolled across one and then just kind of kicked yeah. sideways. A few moments later. You all right? You're all right. You keep going over these corners, dude. What's the deal? Take it slower. You're good. Uh, you're all right. Here, I'm gonna take our bikes off the trail. Put your shirt up again. Ooh, don't look. Don't, don't look. <laughs> Much fun. But uh, we found us a load going from Salt Lake City to uh, somewhere in Oklahoma. Um, he, I, I don't even know. I don't even know. But it's like. Uh, it's at 1400 bucks ends up being like a dollar 26 a mile i think so not the greatest but i knew it would be hard getting out of here so uh just hooked up to the trailer lead and nate still over at the house and um we're gonna hit the road and uh pick this thing up and i'll show you what we got all right guys we are uh in what's called north salt lake city um, this is the load that's going to be taking us to uh, Oklahoma. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I'm trying to hustle here. Um, yeah, so it's an ATM machine. It's supposed to weigh like 2,300 pounds. Um, we threw two chains on this in the back. And then we threw two straps on this. So, like I said, this thing pays uh, $1,400. Ends up being like $1.20 something a mile, I think kind of crappy but it's supposed to be really hard to get out of here I'm gonna see if I can uh, get some direct shipments here and uh, find a way out because we'd like to move out here I think we had so much fun that um, we may consider moving out here I don't know we'll see but that's it it's uh, 10 feet tall and they said it would take up 20 foot of deck space um, I was over here working. He asked if I was going to pick something else up, and I said probably not, so he just said it here. But if I have to, if we do pick up something else, this is light enough that I can actually just push it up and restrap it. So uh, there it is. It's going to catch some wind there, huh? So, uh, all right, well, we're going to hit the road, and we will see you when we stop. Ooh, baby, on the track, I'm going room, room. Try and catch me 
some more And my Rari going raw I want you to work I heard about your resume Skirt Open up the sesame Work Oh no no don't pressure me Yeah ooh yeah Roll out with the referee Curb Yeah yeah I'm turning left now Burn Yeah the rubber's on my chest now First No you're not the first one They done told me I'm the worst one Yeah, always the pedal to the floor, yeah, I'm Martin Senna And I don't know what's in my trunk, I'm always front and center Try the Rari down the coast, yeah, rocking my new rope, yeah Always on the road and I don't need no sweater Ooh, baby, on the track, I'm going room, room. Try and catch me when I pull up in that zoom, zoom Ooh, nah, please don't make that call Me don't want no cars, they ain't ready for the cars Some more in my Rari going raw. Want you to race? Yeah. I cannot do this solo. No, no, no. Pace? Yeah. yeah, I'm speeding in my polo. In my Wait. Wait, no, I don't have time for slow mo. No, no. I've been doing this all my life just for the Lolo. No, no. I'm in the shower, I've been sober for an hour. Yeah. When you see me pour up, I need something to devour. Yeah, I'll play it louder. Yeah, yeah I'll do a crosser. Yeah. yeah, I'm doing better. All my haters give me power. Whoa, whoa. On the track, I'm going room, room. Try and catch me when I pull up in that zoom, zoom. Oh no, please don't make that call. Me don't want no cars, they ain't ready for the cars. Ooh, baby, on the track, I'm going room, room. Try to catch me when I pull up in that zoom, zoom. Ooh, uh, driving by the shore. Look All right, guys, we uh, drove up till about three minutes on our clock. We are currently in Casablanca, uh, New Mexico, uh, and we stopped at uh, Sky City. I hope you guys can see that right there. It's a truck, a truck stop slash um, casino. Didn't really stop for the casino. This is just the uh, this is just the truck stop that allowed me to run my time out as close as possible. Um, so this is where we are. We're supposed to have a restaurant inside. We'll probably go check that out. I don't know if I showed you guys how we did the chains on this. Um, so we V'd these two that went through um, the forklift rails. And then I came around my pocket and then went right over top of it. So that'll keep it from pulling up and uh, that'll keep it from going side to side. Um, pretty much the same thing up front here, like that. So. Uh, Man, I can tell this thing is uh, dragging some wind. We're getting like, um, man, I don't know, it's like 9.7 miles to the gallon, maybe even less. God, it's like a pulling a wall of wind with this thing. But uh, that's it. All right, we're going to go grab something to eat and then uh, figure out what to do from there. Out. we got this guy coming in hot pretty big truck stop I think it says it holds uh, over a hundred trucks so that's cool plenty of parking we don't want to eat at the McDonald's that's in here so we're trying to find the actual restaurant which might be over here by the casino well that's a hotel I smell something I think that I don't think is McDonald's Whew. This rain is pretty cold. Lita's got her hoodie on. It's how. It's gonna be cold in the casino. Just oh, you think so? That's if um. That's if it's even um. Got the restaurant in there. The restaurant might be McDonald's now. Don't think so. Ooh, it's cold. All right, let's shoot in here. Casinos don't like cameras. Shoot in here, see if we can find something to eat other than McDonald's. All right, guys, it is the uh, next morning now. We are fueling up here at the same station that we stayed at. We actually slept in that spot right there. Uh, Lita's in there on the load board. 
don't know if you guys can see her through that. Looking for a load. Uh, I'm getting fuel. Uh, we ate some breakfast this morning, got some Mickey D's. And uh, I think we have about eight and a half hours left of driving today. So, and we can't drop this until tomorrow morning. We have to be there at eight o'clock tomorrow morning. I think, I don't know if they're gonna crane unload it or if that's just when they want us there. So, I don't know, we'll have to see about that. But uh, there was a uh, load going back to about Austin. I was like, sweet, let me call on this. And I called on it and they're like, nope, uh, we gave that to an in-house guy. I was like, well, it's still on the board. So, that kind of sucks. It doesn't look like there's anything going east from uh, Oklahoma. It seems to all be going either to Texas or back to Utah or to uh, California. Um, anything going east is like dirt cheap. Rates suck right now. I don't care what anybody's telling you. If they're telling you the rates are great, they want you to go work for them. They want you to run out and buy a truck and a trailer and make them money. Because if they're charging you whatever percentage, they're making money no matter how much money you're spending in fuel or how much time. They don't care what your truck payment is. Just be leery of that. Um, look at this view. Like I said, we're in New Mexico right now. God, man, this view of these mountains and these, I don't know if you'd call that a mountain. Hills? Cliffs? I don't know. It's mountains to us down in South Georgia. Um, man, it's beautiful. Um, uh, actually, uh, I've been looking at some houses for rent and for sale over in the Utah area super expensive it'd be awesome to move out there and uh, be able to hang out with my brother some more but financially it doesn't look like it would be possible doing this type of job for one it's really hard to get out of there for two we just don't make enough so I'm begging my brother to get me a job where he's at he does something like uh, he sells classes for uh, uh, something to do with stocks I, I have no idea I don't care I'll, I'll pump out porta potties if it pays enough no. So uh, I'm going to finish fueling this thing up. We are going to hit the road and we'll see you when we see you. All right, guys, we are in Amarillo, Texas. And we are at the cars. I don't know if you guys can see that from here. God, this wind is probably terrible, too. Uh, let me get a little bit closer and we'll show you guys what's up. So much paint on it, Nate. Look how thick the paint is. That's how thick the paint is for people painting. Look, it's like drooping. Place at the name of the city that we're dropping in, are we? Or to some different place. Let's see where we're at. People are always like, how come you don't know where you are? Because I'm in a different city all the time. Let me see what we got here. Where am I? Fort Sill, Oklahoma. We are about 30 minutes from our drop. There wasn't any place to stay at, um, according to my GPS. Uh, we were down the road at an abandoned Kmart, but uh, there was no other trucks around, and I was uh, too scared to stay there, to be honest. So we got on the Trucker Path app, and uh, right down the road was a place called uh, Leo Ken's Restaurant, uh, and they've got truck parking here, as you can see. There's a quite a bit of trucks here um, so this is where we're gonna hunker down for the night um, it's 
supposed to have really good food. All I can say is if you use the Trucker Path app, get on the review section and make sure that it's a good... I am recording, right? Yeah, I'm recording. I hate when I'm talking to myself and I realize I didn't record and I have to say everything all over again. So, um, today we found two loads going toward the house. The, uh, the boards look terrible, guys. Uh, there's a reason why uh, Dream Inspired sold his trailer and he's selling his truck and uh, Truck and Travel's doing the same thing because it's terrible guys It's not what all these other people who want you to go work for them is trying to believe or the the dispatchers that want to dispatch for you It's just not there uh, The only ones that are getting the loads are or the guys who are, are working harder than you or are pulling cheaper than than you um, and it's easy to say well I'm, hard, I'm a hard worker I can do this man it's really not it's so frustrating you spend all day long on the board and you finally see a load pop in and it's gone so if you're thinking about getting into this I probably would look elsewhere to be completely honest because it's just not there it really isn't um, like I've said before get it get a semi truck you're not limited to weight I mean I'm non CDL blah 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 you can say all that you want but look you have two CDL hot shotters on YouTube that have quit them so it's not good um, I don't know what else to say. Get a semi truck. If, if you really want to do this, get a semi truck. Get a flatbed like the guy behind me. Honestly, I would probably get a step deck. Only because look at the look at the height difference of my truck and my tra and his trailer. He could have never pulled this right here because he'd be too high. I mean, there are going to be loads that are going to say dock height trailers, and that's a dock height trailer, but. Um, not many of them. I would say get a step deck. That's that's my plan, is a step deck. I mean, not only can you not, I mean, I, I climb up and down off my trailer all the time, just, just strapping and chaining. I could not imagine doing it on that. Climbing up and down off of that thing, uh, chaining or strapping a load would be a nightmare. I guess because I'm old, maybe if you're young you could do it, but man, I'm 37 years old and, uh, I can feel it so yeah anyways what I was getting at so we found two loads we've got one picking up they're both they both pick up in Texas one drops off in Birmingham um, Alabama it weighs 13 pounds it weighs 13 pounds and it's supposed to be like 10 feet long and it pays 400 bucks um, the other one is 1200 pounds it's um that one goes to Cocoa beach florida and that one pays 1400 dollars 10 feet long what i say 1200 1300 pounds so we're gonna try to find something else to go that way because even with the two combined it's not good so our original plan was we called this coco job it's like if we could talk them up to 1400 and we could talk this well, they got a pit bull we could talk this one was picking up in uh, Louisiana going to Ocala Florida it was gonna make it like a dollar 47 I'm trying to get home because it's my other son's birthday now um, and he's got his first soccer thing going on so that's the plan there we were trying to do that but by the time we wanted to get the cocoa one because that was obviously the, the bigger paying load and then we want to get that one talked up and then we were gonna grab the, the Louisiana load well, the Coco one took too long to get back to us. By the time we got that one, and she was like, okay, the, the guy said he'll do 1400. By the time we went to go back to get the Louisiana one, uh, it was gone. So that's when I got on the board and we found that other load paying 400 bucks. I mean, that's kind of like a fuel thing and it kind of takes us out because we looked at the map and it was gonna take us like I-10 down toward like Louisiana and, and uh, uh, like toward Panama City kind of and now we have to kind of shoot up and go to Birmingham hope I didn't shoot myself in the foot doing that so 
I'm gonna look for something kind of going up toward that way and then down into Florida maybe and we'll see what happens there but man the boards have been terrible we had to take this load coming out of Salt Lake City uh, for $1.22 a month and what we keep seeing is all these brokers saying oh it's a partial it's a partial and then you're like well when does it have to be delivered and they're like well it has to be delivered by this date before this time and then you look at the miles and it's basically you don't have time to stop and pick anything else up like this right here they tried to call this a partial yet they needed it by tomorrow morning at eight o'clock well we've only got an hour and a half left on our clock and we left straight from there and we've been driving the entire time so it was i think a bug just flew in my mouth it was basically expedited so we didn't have time to put anything else on this trailer i mean i have all this room right here and uh if it came down to it i was going to slide this piece up into this piece and i was just going to move the chains going up the other way and then strap this down inside of this but we just didn't have time we didn't have time to pick up a partial um and drop it off because we would have ran out of time and we would have pissed off two brokers but all these brokers keep saying oh it's a partial it's a partial yet the partials are saying that they need to be delivered immediately you don't have time so that's what we're running into right now uh what do you think lita about I'm, I'm explaining these partials everything is a partial now an expedited partial yeah. partials that you can't sit on uh, it's not really a partial. yeah we looked but at another partial another another partial going to Savannah Georgia that was paying about a dollar a mile but I was like okay well let me see what else I can grab with that but the guy's like well it needs to be delivered by Friday what do you say Friday by what time uh, I think that was the one that they were like you could get it like deliver it anytime but they don't want it they don't want to wait until like past Monday so yeah but they don't you can't drop it off on the weekend I was like can we drop it off on the weekend he's like I don't think so then yeah. you know what's the deal so it's tough out there I know you guys are probably gonna see this video in um, probably three months today is uh it's eight o'clock on wednesday july 17th oh let me show you guys the mileage before i forget because i'll forget to show you guys the mileage for this load um and i've been forgetting to do it all a lot um where are my keys at in my pocket so we're about um 20 minutes down the road so you guys can kind of take this with whatever um, but I know a lot of people like to see this. Um, we're getting terrible fuel mileage. Now, some of this fuel mileage is uh, due to us. We had to idle last night. It started off super cool. We fell asleep with it super cool. Uh, about 12 o'clock this morning, I woke up sweating and couldn't breathe. So I idled the truck from 12 o'clock until we slept until like 7, 7 30. Seven. seven? Was it seven? Uh, let's see here trip and fuel so we're sitting at uh, 1151 miles and 9.3 miles to the gallon so with idling we might have been at like 9.5 maybe and we've probably got um, let me see I can show you exactly we've got 20 more miles to our destination I don't think that's going to show up. Anyways, 20 more miles to our destination. So you can add 20 miles to that. And this paid $1,400. I think it ends up being like $1.22 a mile, which is shitty. But I knew, I, like I said, I knew I was going to take a hit coming out of Salt Lake City. It was worth it seeing my brother. It was worth it taking my son on this trip. Um, it was worth it uh, helping Thomas out with his uh, Colorado load. Will I do it again? Absolutely. I plan on going to Utah a lot. I plan on uh, buying a downhill bike. Lita's gonna buy a downhill bike. No. She's gonna start doing backflips on the trails. We're gonna do snow skiing and snowboarding and all that other stuff. But um, yeah, I'm gonna try to rush some videos out so you guys can see that it's crap out here and with truck and travel getting out of it and um, uh, Dream Inspired. 
getting out of it, that should show you guys it's not what everybody thinks it is. It's tough out here. All right, we're going to grab something to eat, and uh, I'll get back to you. I just rambled for like ever. All right, guys, we just arrived to our drop off in uh, Elgin. Elgin. I don't know if you guys can see that water tower right there. Oklahoma. Looks like this is getting dropped at a uh, harvest bank. Uh, those guys, I got excited when I seen them. Because um, I thought they were going to unload this thing. But they said they thought I was going to unload this thing. I was like, nope. So they said there's some ATM guys that are supposed to show up at 9 o'clock. We have an appointment to get unloaded at 8. So this is the type of crap you run into. Now we have uh, two other pickups that we have to pick up in Texas. That's going to be about five hours worth of driving. So if they don't get this thing unloaded quickly, I'm going to miss out on picking up um, one of our pickups for today. And that's not going to make one of the next brokers happy. So, um, yeah, she's on the horn right now, emailing this broker, letting her know that these guys are saying that the uh, ATM guys won't be here till 9. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and unchain these things right now where it sits. They actually said I could use the forklift and unload it myself. Um, honestly, if it comes down to that, I probably will. I've ran those things a million times before when I was a mason. Um, doing brick on scaffold and stuff like that so I'm not worried about that I'm just worried about uh, finding someone to sign for it so uh, let me get this unchained and uh, we'll get back to you